Okay, well that was a really nice wedding. Although I do wonder about Vlad. If we go back there, do you think we could see him again? Hold on. Quest-wise? No, nope, we don't have any side quests. Let's just continue on and go back to Olgierd. I wonder if we can read the letter that Vlad wrote. Probably not. It's not under... well, it's not under quest items, is it? I don't think so. It should be a quest item, right? But they don't want me to read it, so maybe that's why it's not here. Or maybe I'm just being really blind right now, but I don't see any non-highlighted document. Well, that's fine. That is fine. We'll go straight back. All geared at the... Yes, he's back in Oxenford. If we're gonna go back to Oxenford... Are there any question marks nearby? There's two here. But if we go all the way down here... Let's go to the Arnsgrown Castle Ruins and then go down here and then we'll travel to Oxenford. How about that? Is this a grave site? Ooh. I think we're here, but we don't have the marker just yet. There we go. Guarded treasure. Tony Owl and Necrophage Oil. Hey! Don't bother my horse! Get away! And there's some more over here. Whoa, that's a lot. Hold on. Oh! Wrong way! Wrong way. <sighs> kinda got the ghoul a little bit, though. Roach! You walk away, okay? I'm sorry. I kinda brought them to you. Let me just focus on one at a time. Roach! Get out! I can't guarantee your safety here! I can hardly get any health back from that. They take away all my stamina in one hit. Oh, come on. Thank you. Ow. There's some kind of dungeon here, but it seems like instead of going in, we just wrap around or... Oh. Oh. New moon gauntlets. But that's pretty much it. Silver plates. Looting tombs again. Geralt of Rivia, the true tomb raider. Okay. Well, that is done. Let me just collect all the loot here and then we'll get going again. What's up here though? Nothing? Oh, whoa! Oh, maybe that's what attracted the ghouls here. Yeah, that's why we always see ghouls at cemeteries, because they like to eat dead bodies. Ooh. How do they open that stone slab, though? That's really heavy. Okay, well, whatever. Our business is done. There's something here. Lesser blue mutagens. Again, again, we have so many of these, but the red ones just never come by. Specific beasts drop specific colors, right? For some reason, we just never fight the red ones. How many do we have right now? I wonder. Just two! After playing all this time, we only have two. Yeah, I still can't... Ugh... Well, I can make a big one. 
Yeah, I can make a greater red mutagen. And then for this slot, I'll just have one lesser one. Would that be a good thing though? I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like this right now or... Hmm. You know what? Let's try that. Yeah, take that away. Take this away. You can go here. Right, and what I'll do is I'll go to alchemy. Greater red mutagen. And I'll put you back here. 40, 40, 15. Is that better than 40... What was it earlier? 28, 21? Not too sure, but I don't think it matters too much anyway. Probably. Okay, well, now that this question mark is done here, I think that's the only question mark in the area. Hmm. We have two here, and... Yeah, two here, and then the five from the base game all the way down here. So eventually, I'll get around to these ones, but for now, let's get back to Olgierd in Oxenford. Open Sesame! Oh! Oh, the auction house is right here too! Should I go back to Olgierd first, or go to the auction house? Which one's higher level? The auction house is higher. Okay, we'll go back to Olgierd first then. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Old Geard's at the inn. Let me just sell some stuff first. Show me what you have in stock. Oh, I just realized I forgot to wear my armor again after the wedding. I guess it's not too big of a deal, though. I'll sell this. Nilfgaardian Guardsman Gauntlets. Can have all of this. Oh no, you're broke again! This happens all the time. Is there anything I can buy from you? Not really. Oh well. Okay. Oh, what about after repairing my stuff? Yeah, because the repair money goes into your inventory too, so maybe now you can buy some stuff from me? Ah, good enough. Thank you. Sensor. That's not a quest item? So long. Kind of a weird place for it to be in, huh? In the regular inventory. Okay. Hmm. Kind of like the outfit, but it doesn't give me any protection. So I guess it's better for me to switch back to the armor here. By the way, the swineherd thing that we got earlier, can we equip it? King of Swineherd's Crown. 15% <gasps> bonus gold! Oh! Dream Trophy! Oh. We'll have to look at that later on when we ride Roach again. Actually, can we call him Roach in the middle of a city? We can! Where is it? Oh, there it is! Look at that. That's cute. Not like the gigantic griffin thing that we had before. Oh, everyone's gone. Heron's got a turn and mix from time to time. My valor stands on three pillars. Good food, good drink, and good fun. Have they taken over the inn? You alright, Ducky? Are you all right here? Oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Mind if I have a look? Just wondering if you can buy my horse blinders. Thank you. So long. No one else is here because everyone's scared. A devil walk a crooked path. His heart are full of ire. No soul would lend him coin for drink, no wench would quench his fire! Oh my god, it's only noon and they're so drunk. What are they doing? Playing. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Let's play Gwent. 
Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interesting? How so? Common carouses and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began travelling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. First time I've seen a sabre like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a... gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my sabre's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaver's eager to face Olgierd von Everick, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. It was glowing red and stuff when we fought him earlier. And we found an Ophiri blade in his family crypt too. And in front of Volimir's spot, there was a special saber. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clap. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks, live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Oh, Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. The contract between Olgierd and Gondor and Dim seems so strange because... Okay, initially, Geralt... Uh, Geralt... Olgierd promised to give Gondor and Dim something in exchange for something he wants. So Olgierd got his something, but before Gondor and Dim can get his something, he has to do three more things for Olgierd first? That kind of sounds like Olgierd gets four things in the end. Doesn't quite seem like a balanced trade. Tell me. How'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a Dauphin on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for a lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempt at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Huh, funny, because Geralt was just talking to Shawnee at the wedding about how, oh, it's the 13th century. If you really want to marry somebody, your parents will let you. But no, not the case for the girl here. Iris was her name, I think? Anyway, let's play some Gwent. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes. And you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem, I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Play out your cards. He might have a lot of good cards, since he's had a long, long time to gather good ones. We'll just go with Northern Realms. Decoy, Biting Frost, Mysterious Elf, Gondor Odim, Sigismund Dijkstra, Stennis, Yennefer, Catapult, Estrat Tyson, Cirilla. Not a bad hand. Hey, how come... How come these two are doubled? Is that related to his leader effect? Okay, what do I want to take away? He's a monster, so... Biting Frost might be good for me here. There's actually not too much I'm interested in taking away. Should I just go with this? Yeah, let's just go with this. Why not? 
don't think I've seen this before. Toad. <laughs> That's a new card, isn't it? I've never seen that before. I'm enjoying this. You are my toy. Passive. Doubles the strength of all spy cards. Affects both players. Hmm. Yeah, we've definitely never faced against this before. That's okay. Because I can plan to lose this round anyway. Oh no! Oh, I should have used my Gondro Dim first. Oh well. Wasted one card slot though. That was a misplay right off the bat. Okay, he's passed. 33. Big, bad, ugly. Squats in the sewers. Scorched range. Destroy your enemy's strongest range combat card if it's above 10. Oh. He didn't use it here though. Um, I guess I'll put down Sigismund D's draw. Since I'm pretty much giving him this round anyway. Crinfred? Catapult stuff? You can have the elf too. Oh, I'm getting a lot of weather effects here. It's kind of useless. Yeah, impenetrable fog. If I use Biting Frost right now, can I win? If I can, I might want to do that. Everything will turn into a one, right? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus seven is 13. I have 12 here. Mmm, mmm, might be a good idea for me to try to win here. Yeah? I guess I'll use Crinfred. How about that? And then, Biting Frost? Oh! Oh, these two got reduced to a twos because of the effect here. 15. That's okay though, we still win. We have enough of a buffer to win here. Did I get a blue stripes? Okay. All I have to do is win this one round, right? Ranged combat? Mm. We'll see. I'm planning on putting my commander's horn on the catapult stuff. Would that be okay? I think so. If I use Yennefer... Maybe I'll wait a little bit. Yep. This guy might have some spies. Oh no, he won't, because he's a monster. So he won't have any spy cards at all. Hmm, okay. Crones? Should I just let him have the round? Maybe it'll be a good idea for me to just let him have the round. Especially since he's gonna be a dummy and play even more cards down. You can have it. I think the random guy at the wedding might be stronger than Ogierd in Gwent. <laughs> he's a good sword fighter, but maybe not the best Gwent player. Draug. Okay, now all we gotta do is go all out. Siri. Siri. Estera Tyson. You only have two more cards. Oh, what? You're not using it at all? Okay. Just freaking put everything down. Oh! No. Boom. 7731. Easy peasy. Shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. 
The Toad. Both Olgierd and his brother Vladimir are they're outlaws, but they're also kind of honorable in some ways. It's an interesting combination here. Anyway, Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish, and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. I don't think he's happy about this. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. He's not too salty about me being able to do this. Although I think he is. Because if I complete it, then he's gonna have to pay back Gondro Dim's debt and all. Blimey. Those are some razors you've got. Well, just so Not happens, the, the auction house is right over but here. Oh! What's this? Let it be known that the Oxenford sewers have been closed until further notice. Yeah, <laughs> there's a gigantic frog on it. Private Kleiner, I remind you, assault. Oh. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Which we don't have. I don't want to threaten them. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. <laughs> Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! A thought not. No, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Did you come here for the 130 crown loan back? Because I don't have it. I'm poor, sorry. <laughs> Appreciate the help. Just night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. 
Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neum and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? He's a banker, all right. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. What? Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye, and I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Why, though? Just out of the goodness of his heart? Because Radovid's definitely not that generous normally. <laughs> Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg. Can we look at some of the stuff being auctioned? With topaz insects sold to Madame Villepin. Dress of harky silk trimmed with amethyst beads. I have a starting price of 2,000 crowns. 2,000 crowns? Oh, I can't look at my inventory right now. I don't know how many crowns I have. I think I have maybe 50,000 crowns. Hmm. A giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. Goblet of Fire. Wonder what it is. What, like from Harry Potter? Geralt, you thought of buying real estate. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Marks? Come on, you know damn well that makes no sense. Insects sold to Madame Villepin. Veracanian Spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Hmm. A giant. Oops. That's the same one. Mountains. It's all rich people in here. From the collection of the mage Aramis. Codex Redaniensis. Sole surviving copy. Fancy stuff. Just again. That maid needs a stern reprimand. Beautiful. But first blow would shatter them. What is this? Apage egg, white hmm. gold, and mother of pearl with topaz insects sold to Madame Villepin. We don't get to Dress look at that. Darky silk trimmed with amethyst beads. Hmm. This one probably also belongs to sorceress. Fetish, maybe. <laughs> maybe we should buy that for yen. Oh, who is that? I wonder. Wow, this place is fancy. Sorry about that, Vimy. Hey. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye, and? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known, but he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. 
We gotta go do Geralt's favorite thing. Socialize. Oh, smell it, Geralt. Oh. That's the scent of coin. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Don't look at me like that. Paintings. The Battle of Angiari, 1206, by V. Da Linci, Oil on Canvas. Wow. Artistic rendition, though, right? It's not like the actual thing. A Vessel Leaving Port, by Zed Burner, Oil on Wood. Is it my imagination, or does Baronet Lupin look a bit out of sorts today? You've not heard. His sawmill's gone up in smoke. Some knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose, they say. Oh. I wonder if we know about that. The Spice Merchant, 1212 by E. Vandernoob. Hey, Vivaldi mentioned this guy earlier, right? Et in Covir Ego, and Busen, 1210, oil on canvas. Man, this is too highbrow for me. <laughs> no sign of Borsodi. Perhaps he'll look in at intermission. Has he always been such a recluse? No. It began after his father passed. Apparently, he turned inward. Huh. Oh. Still life. J. the Vivari, 1212, oil on canvas. Huh. All so tall. You think the room was full of horses? <laughs> Come on, you should be used to it by now. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? I might! I might! Remember when we met Olgierd? Geralt was able to name the statue and all that. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Wait, what? Are you gonna quiz me? Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Haha, <laughs> we just looked at this. But why are you acting like I bragged about this? It's not like I said, hey, I know everything about art. I just said, oh, I know a little bit. <laughs> That's all I said. But it's the merchant. Really? Merchant with the pearl, no two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm, might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. <laughs> They've all these equal. That's rude. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roe is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, as he shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends beckon. So, what did he tell you? Mm. To buy the Van Roe. Apparently, this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She number of them's doing my heed in. 
money. Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy by that ring on his finger. Shite, is it fat? Clivert? The first tech guy? From the estate? Oh. That would look splendid in the boudoir. The boudoir? Oh, I'm taking all that. Excuse me, you're in front of the food right now. Could you just move aside? Onions? Okay. Hellbert! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. I got all four decks, actually. Uh, if I tell you what I prefer, are you gonna... Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, we'll, we'll play along. I'm just wondering, because if I say what I'm good at, are you gonna try to pick one that's better against me? Seen right through me. Ha! I knowed it! You don't look like one who easily agrees to a draw. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb! Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Why not? Whoa! Whoa. I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but okay. Hmm. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, since I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings. What? If there are any. Ten percent. A finder's fee of sorts, you can. Mm-hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin, then a stink. So, what'll it be? Ten percent. We just settled on a bet of 250. 250, ten percent would be 25 crowns? Okay, I'll give it to you, but you can never bug me about the loan again, okay? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right, 10% of any winnings is yours. Any chance for 15? No. Don't push it, Vimy. All right, game on. Do I have to use a Nilfgaard deck? <laughs> what if I'm like, you know, I go back to the Northern Realms just cuz... Yeah, I can change it right now. Do I want to though? You know what? Let's uh let's try to beat him with a Nilfgaard deck and see what happens. Maybe it'll be okay. Oh, I forgot to check my leader card. I'm so rusty though, I'm not sure if this is gonna be okay. Decoy, clear weather, commander's horn, commander's horn, emperor brigade, emperor brigade, siege engineer, dragon, heavy, zircanian, virus scorpion, cerilla. Well, emperor brigades we wanna keep, siege engineer. Let's take away clear weather. Menocorn, good trade. Don't have any spies though. Maybe I'll take away the siege engineer for Yennefer. Not bad. I'm far more comfortable with the Northern Realms deck, but I don't want him to be like, hey, you said you were good at the Nilfgaardian deck. You lied to me, so whatever. Abilities that restore a unit to the battlefield restores a randomly chosen unit. What? Affects both players. Oh, so you're saying if I use Yennefer, I can't pick what to get back? Dang. Draw a card from your opponent's discard pile. This might be good. Okay, he's also Nilfgaard. Hmm. I don't have very many things I can commit right off the bat though, because these are all kind of combo-y. Or a hero. This is also a medic. Menocorn is a... Hmm. Okay, in that case, we should be a little bit more liberal in using the non-hero high number cards. Because we have two medics here. Plus a decoy. 
Oh my god. What? You're gonna give me that card, right? Gonter Odim. He always grants exactly what you wish for. That's the problem. That feels like a quote from Ogiert, huh? Muster. Wow, you can muster these other ones. What? But if both of them are Gondra Odim? Dang. Okay, 16 to 10. Just trying to think if I want to use all my cards right away. Because I really don't have that many cards here. Bit unfortunate. I'm really hoping you have a spy or something I can decoy. That would be amazing. But other than that, I have two commander's horns. I have close combat and siege. That's all I got. So maybe I should just use a commander's horn here. Seems like a bit of a waste though, just for one card. But it's not like I have use for it anyway. Unless if I draw more cards later on. 21 to 20. 21 to 20. Okay, what I can do... Remember I have decoy, so I could bring something back if I wanted to. How much do I want to commit? Everything? Seems a little bit risky. Wouldn't it be better for him to put the commander's horn on this row? For whatever reason, he doesn't want to. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. 32 to 28. Six cards, six cards. That's okay. We have medics and stuff. Do I want to give up? Let's. You can have this round. If he gives me a spy, I can get it back with a medic? Or we can just forget about the spies and- What the heck are you doing, buddy? Ah, uh, he wants me to waste one card at the minimum. Okay, well in this case, I have two medics here. I wanted to bring these guys back, but I probably... What's my best play here? Probably not any of the hero cards. Yeah, if I play a dragon or the Zeracanian scorpion, I can get it back next round. Sure. Is that my best move though? Probably. Man, this guy... It's evening the playing grounds for me. Thanks, man. <laughs> Apparently he recently became big and rich because of his winnings in Gwent. Not sure how good he is, though, judging by what we've seen here. Okay. Do I want anything from you? I don't have Gondra Odim. Wait, Gondra Odim is a neutral card? A deck neutral card? Is it in my deck? If I use Muster... Can I get all the Gondro Dims in my deck? Is that how that works? Um, I don't remember if I have any Gondro Dims in my Nilf Guardian deck, but he's Nilf Guardian and he has it, so I should have it too, right? So theoretically, I can muster and get a whole bunch of Gondro Dims on my side. Is that how that works? Well, we'll save it for last, just in case if it doesn't work out. Okay. 10 versus 10. Cirilla. Very luckily for me, it seems like this guy doesn't have many medics. I haven't seen him use a single one yet. Okay, now we're getting into medic territory here. What do I want to bring back? These two guys? Or the dragon? The dragon alone would be 7. 7 plus 3. Or I can bring these two guys back which will be 3 plus 3 times 2, which is 12. So I should bring those two guys back then. Plus Commander's Horn. The dragon could help me get rid of something in this row, but I don't know what he has, so I can't really plan around that. Wow. 
Well, this was worth it. 12. Do you have more dragons? Oh, I've won! I've won. Alright. Out of curiosity, though, I do wonder about the muster thing, so can I try it? Oh, you know what? Uh, I can't try it because he has this ability where I can't choose what to get back. Dang. Okay, well, maybe we'll try for next time. Cool. Cool, cool. Beat you with the Nilf Guardian deck. Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have for something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Helvet. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. What a sore, ungracious loser. He's gonna lose all his fortune soon. 450! But half of it was my initial investment. Vivaldi. Perusing the room for any and all to fleece. What's happening here anyway? Abner the Navaret? We have an exceptional auction ahead, dear folk. Oh, Yaramir is here. Not now, Witcher. Are fork tales truly as dangerous as folk contend? Wow, I feel so high class just looking down from here. <laughs> Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Oh. Now I kind of feel like you're probing me every time you give me a look. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Oh. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Veda Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Okay, you gotta... you gotta quit it, man. But I do want to see what she has. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Viper armor, level 39! Hey, we should buy this, shouldn't we? Because we won't get another chance to do so, right? Dang, though, I don't want to give Vimy free money. <laughs> Okay, whatever. This just means I'll never pay back the loan. Yeah. I mean, that was like less than 1,000 coins anyway. But, you can have this stuff. Lady. Ornate boots. Okay, would you like some other stuff? I have a lot of things here. Would you like an elf head? No. Oh, I don't want to give you that. That's my treasure. This, I might... Oh, these two go together, the ornate boots and the um, robe. I guess I'll never wear it again, but I kind of like the robe, so I do want to keep this. Maybe put it in my stash or something. Eh, I just want to make some money back. Can you <laughs> take all this? Okay, I got a whole bunch of it in my inventory, or a stash anyway, so it's fine. Did you actually take 5% though, Vimy? Yeah, but we needed to get this, right? Because otherwise, we probably wouldn't be able to get it elsewhere. Level 39. 
Viper. Have we tried Viper before? I feel like that's a pretty unfamiliar school. Anyway though, this lady, it seems like she has some relationships with somebody in the wolf school. I wonder if I know who it is. Vesemir? Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes? Yes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Looking at an older lady who says she's had a relationship with a witcher in her youth, right after we had the wedding with Shawnee, and right after we talked about how, oh, she's gonna grow old and stuff. Kinda makes me think about the whole situation with Shawnee. Hmm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me, I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin oh. shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, we can't lie. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued. A notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Oh my god, the lightning in the background. Another case of parents not approving of the daughter's love. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. <laughs> and now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Man, I wish I could say that someday. This woman's got F.U. money, she doesn't care. <laughs> huh. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. 